disturbing video has surfaced online showing children in Libya who are reported to be under the age of nine staging a mock execution. <laughs> Guests who I spoke with earlier gave us some contrasting views on how such children growing up at a time of conflict and instability should be dealt with. That the individuals that are actually carrying out terrorist attacks, and in particular suicide attacks, often have been escaping chaotic lives. That actually that the, their yes. engagement with what we would call extremist material, it doesn't happen until many years down the line. Um, you know, and often substance misuse was a big pr uh, problem. And if we understand that the reasons that people engage in substance misuse is because of childhood trauma, and that if we understand that, if we've got a, uh, a large number of uh, young uh, guys, uh, of children who have experienced that kind of trauma, could they? Is it possible? That may be partially that true. That may the be partially true. Not the whole truth. That's not the whole yes. truth. Well, I'm talking this about, is, uh, for example, true. the Bangladesh well, trauma, among the terrorist attacks. And this could be. This could be extremism, but, but, but the, the idea behind this, those kids are copying what they've seen, like, like what they do when they watch you know, a, a, a wartime uh, movie or when they play a game of, of um, you know, um, I don't know, so many war games or fighting games. They copy this kind of stuff. If they're mirroring and they're executing their friends or mock executions, what have they been watching? Was it online or really were they watching it firsthand? And if they've watched it firsthand, guaranteed they're going to have they're going to struggle with mental health. They're going to have a great number of issues. And I think, that I agree given with that you. it was no, I agree wrong with you. to invade Libya, I agree Libya, with you. They, so, yeah, we should I do agree something. With you. Some of the I, I can't really fully agree revenge. with you there. No, I cannot the because family. the root cause is not that. No. First of all, um, if you look into the history of Islamist terrorism recently in, in a country where I was born, Bangladesh, you will see most of the terrorist attacks in the capital of Dhaka was carried out by youths who, in fact, came from affluent families. They had very good life. In fact, they were brainwashed by this Islamist terrorism, uh, not only by videos, but by theological understanding of it. And uh, when it comes to children, children are not being able to be children because of the upbringing they are getting because they are the Islamic extremist ideology, it in fact uh, denies you of any kind of recreation that a children can uh, will need to grow up. Well, so that, it's that, all that happens because, in you know, all they different are being kinds of cultures. Not right. Our some of the education in some countries, they they educate the, the younger kids on radicalization, on extremism, right from the younger age. So we that's what we're calling for. We call some regulations to prevent such a behavior, either either on online videos. All watching, you know, we have to regulate the education curriculum. Some of the countries require to be looked into and see how the education curriculum is being taught in school.